Yeah. 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 I was stewing went around with the idea of um, a film within a film, and then uh, the idea of the knife swap actually was timely because the uh, what was that movie with Alec Baldwin? Yeah. It happened right around the same time, so I thought I'd just borrow from real life that, you know, instead of a gun, it would be a knife. But um, and then I didn't—I didn't know he swapped the knives until I got towards the end of the shoot, and I was like, "Oh, it should be the one who has been professing the whole time that uh, that she's innocent. It should be her." You know. As you can see, Maurice just took a stab at it. <laughs> 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 How long did it take you to shoot the whole thing? Uh, let's see. The, we got a talk show. We got the first week. Five days? Five days. Five days. Bertie. Um, are you going to make this into like a full feature film? or like a I, I have an idea for how to do that. Uh, that would, you know, down the line, if, it, if the opportunity came up, I could embellish that even more than it already is embellished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was that your idea to turn it into more making it, or you just made it and now you're thinking about it turning it into Oh, it, none of the shorts that I do, I write them with the idea of them being features, but there's enough, I know the characters well enough that I could see what happened in between and connect the dots and flesh them out, but I'm happy with it in the form that it's in. Um, it's about 25 minutes long. Uh, whenever I do short films, I don't do them as sketches. Like I've seen sometimes that uh, short films are done. I, do, I condense an entire story of a feature into a short. Usually they're about 20 minutes long, the, the ones that are like the feature ones, because they're, they're big concept, big ideas. They're not just you know a couple of jokes and a plot and then here's the story you know, kind of thing, which those are funny too. So what do the actors think of the younger version and the older version of what they will think? Did y'all work it out? Is it each other? Jennifer or? and I? Yeah, we talked. Mm -hmm. Or which one? I don't know. There's so many of us. <laughs> we chatted <laughs> for him. Yeah, yeah, we, we definitely it. collaborated. Yeah, I, I, saw some, I saw some you videos of him doing his performance. I wasn't there on Saturday. But then I tried to channel some of that. I saw his sleeping. That was the trick though. The younger version put first, so the older version just had to kind of mimic all the characters that we already created. You'd be happy to know the tape that's in the movie is the one where you really got the Richard's face. You know, no, I guess. <laughs> There was a couple of uh, uh, things on the set with the with the, um, with the choreography that you know we anytime something didn't go as planned we used the the non-planned version because it was more raw you know so if something went you know sideways a little we used the oops because it, it happened to be real and we're like well if the accident happened and there was an oops uh, it would be in vain if we don't use it you know we might as well be in the film. The old Britney Spears way of doing it. <laughs> any, particular, any particular slasher movie in your past that was an influence on you? The film within a film, um, part of it, not the plot, that was uh, Brian De Palma's body double. Because the whole the bookend of the beginning and the end of that movie is the, is the real life, and then everything in the middle is the, the, the crazy web that's being spun. As a director, how much fun was it to be on set with real knives and fake knives floating around? How much yeah. uh, joy did you get from that? Probably as much as shit. Yeah. Um, no, we had a pro we had uh, Cynthia Roy who was on set with her as our top uh, supervisor for part of it, and we had a bunch of another bunch of team of people that were helpful in uh, making sure we didn't use the wrong knife at the wrong time, and otherwise we would have, uh, you know, we would have been a snuff movie. Or would you have used the trip to the hospital and the ambulance and all that, like, in the, the movie and just, you know, why not, you know, have an accident? An accident, yeah. yeah. Oh, of course, production value. Oh, you need to turn that down. Exactly. I want to ask Royce, what's next for you, man, and your team? you got Joe Moore here, who's looking good, man. Good to see you again. Joe's Woo! Uh, you doing, Joe? uh, I got a short film in post that uh, David 
was a, it was a one man show. And um, Chad, Chad was the was the camera one of the cameramen on that. Oh, Chad! And that's in post right now. We have a Hollywood composer that's uh, you know working on the score. He's awesome. the same guy that did the score for Scarlet, which won last year. It's great. That was so nice. uh, but and there's all kinds of different things we all have in the works. Uh, there's all side projects, you know. Uh, Holly's working on things. Yep. Everybody's working on stuff, and that's what's great about these festivals and these things is everybody can kind of, you know, collaborate, and, and everybody's got different ideas. Yeah. You know, every time I show up to shoot with Brian, you know, he's so busy, he's like, all right, what are we doing this time? You know, so it's always fresh, and uh, he brings his ideas to the table, and I bring my wacky ideas, and then we meet in the middle, and you know, it's it's fun. People challenge, we challenge each other. Abalone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, I wrote him. I wrote the what entire film for them. Like, if no, Karen, I mean, Karen, you, what do you oh, think yeah. about? Yeah. Oh, I love that idea. I thought it was really cool when he brought it to us because you know it's easy to play somebody you're related to. But <laughs> it was good. I loved it, and it was something really special for us because you know we've never done a movie together. This was my very first movie. Ever, so it was nice. Yeah, it was really nice to have that memory of the day. Let me ask you real quick, is there any other filmmakers that came in recently that have a film uh, that's in the festival? I just want to make sure I get them played if that's the case. Well, um, I guess not, but there's, this audience is really good. A lot of you folks Woo! have to be here. <laughs> be a good audience! <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of people, if they're filmmakers or not, they're asking questions that are pretty insightful, so I appreciate that. You know what I mean? For the, if I, some of the shy people in the audience that didn't want to come up here, I'm going to be an asshole and single you out. Yeah, do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Palmer is a director. Yeah. Yeah. Jay Palmer! Yeah. 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 All the flashback stuff, he shot a good portion of that stuff. Any, any dolly moves and sweeping shots and flourishes and stuff. He was there for a day, and he lent us that. Um, my friend David and Carolyn, they worked on this on the flashback material, and I've known them for over 10 years, and you know, we're involved with family, and um, we got a bunch of people in, in the audience here that are not even, um, they didn't even work on the movie, but they, you know, they helped. I mean, we got the, uh, yeah, Melissa worked on the on the project. She was like, Woo! Yeah. 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 along with Cindy, both of them, um, um, Cindy had a dip, dip out earlier, but uh, the two of them did, uh, you have to have continuity, you have to have script supervisor and make sure yeah. that things match and, and all that good stuff. I mean, without that, you, you end up with something that doesn't cut together, and that would be a nightmare. How many lines did uh, the Red have in the, in the movie? With the camera and all that good stuff. That was, that was at the beginning, right? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to uh, congratulate you and your wife because you had a this question would take all day, but I'm just curious if that's affected your process with the positive of having it. Someone and how that like you're directing like with people and stuff, did that affect it at all? Or no? Um patience, yeah. Uh, I have that patience with my son, so it helps me be more centered and you know, I'm just not to overreact about things, and, you know, um, it, it's a humbling thing to be a parent. Yeah. Well, you're doing a great job, man. Um, Can I get a good picture? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Folks, stay tuned. There's a nice surprise coming. Do I get the picture? <laughs> While you're taking the picture, I'm going to play uh, a special award-winning uh, music video. This is one of the Joe Jaffo Carrieri uh, Fun and Music Award. Are you ready? Joe Jaffo was a. Uh, my friend Joe Jaffo was a great guy. He was a musician. He was a really funny guy. Unfortunately, he passed away a couple of years ago. So I named uh, an award in his honor for films that I think he would like. Especially. I got that. 